Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. Dynamic change in the history of Aternum last night as the forces of JDB's kitchen capture the master fishing port town of Reekwater. Wasting no time, the master chefs of JDB dispersed to collect only the finest ingredients for their private party. But while company members were invited to the victory celebration, all faction members are welcome to free appetizers daily. Later in the evening, KOTT News were able to catch up to Globo Gym leadership, soaking in the hot tub. Congratulations on your victory here in Morningdale, successfully fending it off yet again. Would you care to take us through how it went down for you out there tonight? Oh man, it was pretty good. You know, it was a real team victory. You know, we all got out there to be, uh, had a nice little skirmish out there and uh it was pretty dominant on our side i'd have to say oh pretty dominant were they able to get inside the fort at all uh yeah they made a they made a, a good effort to try and get in uh they i got all the points outside but um we were able to hold them off well is there anybody out there whose performance really outshined tonight i'm gonna have to go with myself there you know i haven't played in quite some time and you know i came out there and really really put on a good effort uh for, first word the great sword so uh you know, shout out to the team though for setting me up. Last night's blackout signaled the true start of the corruption mega invasion. Expected to last two weeks, citizens are encouraged to have fun and be excellent to each other. Turning to the weather and once again it's sun up, sun over, sun down for a peaceful morning into afternoon. Then look out in the evening as the humidity drops and a mist of invasion forces rise up across 20% of the island. Another submission for Simulated Fantasy Combat Resolution tonight, brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it is cardboard. Tonight, the Covenant forces of Outcasts attack the Marauders of C-plus tier Dodgers for control of the bear-infested deep forest of Brightwood. The Zealots of Outcast have abandoned all other territories in order to focus their entire attention in the northern woods because someone has to finish the church. And it ain't gonna be the Dodgers. They have found only one useful purpose for the incomplete structure, by hanging their banner from its scaffolding to flaunt its unfinished state. Be sure to tune in for complete coverage and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.